YouTube. Uh, Will Walker here with the William Walker Company Project channel. Uh, real quick, so I started work on my uh, Rubo, my Andre Rubo bench. Um, I've got a bunch of red oak all cut up and ready to be milled uh, flat and true, and so I can glue that up. But in preparation for this build, there's a lot of joinery that um, is pretty ambitious to me so I've been trying to hone my hone um, I've been trying to hone my hand tool skills more better I've been trying to hone my hand tool skills um, to, to do more hand cut joinery just because I think it's kind of fun and kind of cool uh, and while I don't have a proper set of hand saws uh, dovetail tenon saws carcass saws that kind of thing I did pick up this one um, antique, uh, unmarked, unmarked, um, I, I guess it's a dovetail saw. It's, it's definitely got, uh, cross-cut teeth, um, with, uh, fleam, um, but I, it doesn't have the pistol grip, and that's what I really want. Uh, but I thought I would pick up, uh, I, I picked up this book, uh, it's called Keeping the Cutting Edge, Setting and Sharpening Hand and Power Saws, uh, by Harold H. Payson or Dynamite Payson. Uh, so I picked this book up off of Amazon along with a file and a saw set. This saw set is from 5 to 12 TPI and I just measured this one and it's actually like 14 TPI. So uh, I, I won't be able to set the teeth uh, on this saw but I will be able to sharpen hopefully. Uh, so I just I thought it would be kind of a cool short video if I showed you guys my the process of uh, the total hand sharpening hand saw sharpening noob uh, go through the process and and what I've learned. So I thought it'd be kind of cool if I did a test before I sharpened this saw and then a test after. So let's let's try it. I guess I don't know. All right. I thought I'd do the test cutting on the cheeks of some dovetails and the same piece of white oak. The results from the unsharpened saw... Slow. Time to sharpen. What I gleaned from the first few pages of the book was to identify which way the set of the tooth was going, then finding the angle for the bevel of the tooth. This is called the fleam. You're actually cutting two faces, the top back of the tooth that is set towards you and the cutting front edge of the tooth set away from you, at least in a cross-cut profile. Work your way up the saw, then flip the saw around and file the opposite set teeth. The proof of the pudding is in the eating, and I think I did alright my first go-round. Now if I could just cut my tails with the right angle on them, I'd be getting somewhere. <clears throat> so, yeah, this was uh this was a good learning experience. Uh, I think the saw cuts, uh, I don't know, 4,000% better. Um, and just learning how to sharpen a saw, uh, an old saw, really opened the door to me restoring more old tools and keeping my shop kind of self-maintained, where if a saw gets dull, I can just sharpen it. Uh, I do think I need practice with um, the file kind of deciding what angle to hold the file to 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 establish the fleam as they call it um, and see and experiment with different angles and see what cuts better for cross cuts and dovetails and whatever um, or to have uh, a rip profile on a saw which would be more uh, perpendicular to the saw tooth. Uh, yeah, so this book is really informative. It's called Keeping the Cutting Edge, Setting and Sharpening Hand and Power Saws. Uh, it's available on Amazon, and I'll put a link in the description as well as uh, the file that I used and the saw set. 
master, which I didn't get to use because I didn't count the TPI of my saw before I ordered this. This is from 5 to 12 TPI, and this is a 14 TPI saw. I am looking forward to uh, finding some more old saws, some more old dovetail, uh, and tenon and carcass saws, back saws. Uh, I'd really like to, to have one with a pistol grip. Um, I just... I haven't found one yet, and if you guys know of a great resource for those, uh, let me know, and I would love to do another restoration um, of an old saw. So, until next time, guys, I'm Will Walker. This is the William Walker Company Project Channel. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks.